Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you to our webinar entitled Opportunities for Japanese Businesses in Hong Kong and the Greater Bay Area, jointly presented by Invest Hong Kong, Commerce Bureau of Shenzhen Municipality, and KPMG. As part of a policy initiative, Invest Hong Kong will collaborate with our strategic partner, Commerce Bureau of Shenzhen Municipality, on organizing series of events in different cities globally, including this webinar in Tokyo. KPMG is another organizer of this event. With this webinar, we wish to highlight the growing importance of the Greater Bay Area and promote Hong Kong as the springboard into the GBA. The agenda of the webinar is comprehensive, including information on Hong Kong's unique role as the ideal gateway into the GBA, relevant tax and legal issues, as well as success stories of companies operating in the GBA. Hong Kong remains an attractive place for overseas and mainland companies to run their local and regional operations. Our survey conducted in 2020 reveals that Hong Kong is home to more than 9,000 foreign companies representing an increase of 10% from 2017. And among them, some 1,500, or around 17%, are utilizing the city as the regional headquarters. This is attributed to the many business streams of Hong Kong, supported by one country, two systems, as well as various new opportunities in front of us, like the GBA development and the Belt and Road Initiative. It is noteworthy that Japan is the number two source of foreign companies for Hong Kong. Also, Japan has always been an important trading partner for Hong Kong, especially for food and consumer products. For the first seven months of 2021, exports from Hong Kong to Japan increased by 5%, while imports from Japan to Hong Kong increased by even 17.6% compared with the same period of 2020. Now the national 14 five-year plan establishes a clear positioning for Hong Kong's future development, covering three major development directions from the political, economic, and social perspectives. Apart from the continuous support for Hong Kong in enhancing its status as an international financial, transportation, and trade center, as well as a center for international legal and dispute resolution services in the Asia-Pacific region, the National 14 Five-Year Plan has raised, for the first time, its support for Hong Kong in four emerging sectors, namely supporting Hong Kong as an international aviation hub, an international innovation and technology hub, a regional intellectual property trading center, as well as a hub for arts and cultural exchanges between China and the rest of the world. It also mentions the support for high quality development in the GBA. This demonstrates the confidence of the central government on Hong Kong's high degree of competitiveness in many aspects and also shows the central government's staunch support for Hong Kong. Before I close, please rest assured that Invest Hong Kong, as the investment support promotion agency of the Hong Kong government, is here to support you grow your business in and via Hong Kong. We offer free advice and services to support companies from the planning stage right through to the launch and expansion of their business. So if there's anything Invest Hong Kong can assist you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Last but not least, I would also like to thank our distinguished speakers for sharing their insights with us today. They are Mr. Tian Changhao, Chief Representative, Shenzhen Economy and Trade Representative Office in Japan, Commerce Bureau of Shenzhen Municipality. Ms. Vivian Chen, Tax Partner, KPMG Shenzhen, Ms. Alice Leung, Tax Partner, KPMG Hong Kong, Ms. Shirley Fu, Partner, 
SF Lawyers in association with KPMG Law. With that, may I wish you all a very informative webinar. Thank you very much.